Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence and this is my channel about the transition from gas-powered cars to electric cars from the perspective of a first-time EV owner. In my last video, the Kia Niro EV hidden tech information, I showed you how it was possible with a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter, your cell phone, an application called Torque Pro, some time spent on the computer preparing some files and then transferring and setting things up to get information like battery temperature, battery state of health, cell voltage, and all of that other good stuff. Now, what if I told you there was a way to get most of that information by simply plugging a device in, pairing it with the Bluetooth adapter, and doing nothing but scrolling through the screens? Well, it is possible, and to find out how, stick around, I'll let you know in 10 seconds. The difference between getting hidden information out of your electric car in this video and my last video is that in this video you need absolutely no technical knowledge whatsoever. So if you were interested in all of the information from my last video but you don't have the technical capabilities to follow the instructions and set it all up on your computer, transfer the files and all of that, then all you really need to do is buy two devices. Now exactly like in the last video you need an OBD2 Bluetooth dongle. This is the VPeak VP11 that I had purchased for Torque Pro and it still works and does its job. And the nice thing about this one is that I've left it plugged in for several days and it hasn't drained my 12 volt auxiliary battery whatsoever. And some people in the Facebook pages have noted that some of the cheaper units, even though this is a fairly cheapy model, uh, do drain the 12 volt battery over a period of a few days. I haven't experienced that, so that's why I suggest spending, you know, the 20 bucks, even though I've been told that's a lot of money for a cheap adapter. Um, it just works and I've had no issues with it. So I'll put a link to this particular device in the description below so that you know which one has been tested and works. Now the information that I'm giving in this video is very specific to the 2019 and newer Kia Niro EV, the 2020 Kia Soul EV, the 2019 Hyundai Kona Electric, and the 2020 Hyundai Ioniq Electric. The only vehicle this has not been tested in is the 2020 Hyundai Ioniq Electric, and that's just because I didn't have one handy and neither did the developer of this new device. So for now, I'm gonna show you how this works in this car. Take your Bluetooth adapter and plug it into the OBD2 port exactly like in my last video, which I'll put a link to up here. Once the adapter is plugged in, the other device you need is this, the EVOBD2 adapter created by a really smart guy called Jean-Pierre Lavoie. He's just a guy in a Facebook group and had a need, which is basically that he didn't want to have to take his cell phone out, stick it in his car, turn on Torque Pro, sync it up, and do all those tiny steps that don't take a lot of time but are still a pain if you don't want to stick your phone in your car all the time. He just wanted a little device that he could plug in and would give you all the information off the bat. Now, the website to purchase this is being developed as of the filming of this video, and as soon as I get the link to the live site, I'll put it in the uh, description below. But basically, I'll see if I can show this to you on this camera. You get the adapter. Let me take that out right now, which is this guy. Oh, let me get that centered. It's just a little 3D printed case. Uh, these will be mass produced eventually. And it's got a USB port connector on there. Let me show that to you here. And in the bag also comes an instruction manual, a little pamphlet. It essentially gives you the list that I was talking about. Right now it's in French. It will be translated to English. I should be receiving that very shortly. The other thing that he includes in here is the USB cable. And this is USB-C. USB-C that connects to the adapter and regular USB that plugs into your car. I've already got one connected, so I'm just going to set that aside. And it includes a couple strips of Velcro so that you can Velcro this thing to wherever you want in your car. Now, I've already got that set up on mine. Let me show you that here. Little tab. And I'll stick that on the dash right there. So how does it work? Well, my Bluetooth adapter is already in. I've already paired it. It literally takes like just a minute to set up. Then you plug in the USB cable. Wait for it to power up. And it connects to the Bluetooth adapter. Now the connecting process does take about 20, 30 seconds, but quite honestly, it's just plugged in, turned on, and always does this automatically by itself. So there's nothing really to do. The first screen that you see is the auxiliary battery state of charge. 
as well as the amps that are being pulled or put back into it. Now the 32.7 amps that you see here is essentially what's being drawn out of the battery and that's why it's red. If this was charging the battery, the 32.7 amps would actually be in green and it's showing that it's the 12 volt battery. It's at 14.6 volts, my car is on because I have the heating on right now, and that it's at a 94% state of charge. Yesterday it was at 78, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of the day, so you can tell that my car has charged the battery up since I plugged it in. Now the two buttons left and right of this device are the buttons that'll allow you to scroll through the screen. So you press hold for a second and let go, and it changes to the next screen. This is the accumulated state of charge or discharge of the main battery of the car that'll essentially tell you how much power your car has put in and taken out of the battery. Press and hold and let go. This screen tells you the number of kilowatt hours that your battery has been charged and discharged. And in this particular case, I've only had one charge cycle of my car since I've connected and reset this device. So it's only showing you that I've used 80.4 kilowatt hours since I charged the battery to 90% and discharged 64.4 of that. You can reset the counter with the other button. It would be a press and hold. I'm going to leave that there because I want to keep the information for now. Press for a second, let go. Now this screen tells you the maximum number of kilowatts that the car has regenerated and the maximum number of kilowatts that the car has pulled. In other words, when I let off the accelerator, how much power the car creates and puts back into the battery. And then when I press the accelerator, how much power it draws in the maximum number of kilowatts. So if I floor the car, it's gonna take a lot. And it seems that I've done that because 157.5 is quite a lot. The next screen, this is the one that I really like, state of health. This basically tells me that my Kia Niro EV's battery, the main battery, is at 100% state of health. Now, I've had my car for uh, let's see, eight, nine months now. I got it in May, five, seven months. And uh, basically this is telling me that after 19,500 kilometers of driving, that my main battery is still at 100%. And I have used the rapid chargers a few times because I've done a few road trips. So uh, my battery is in excellent condition. I have no worries about it. The operation time, it tells me that I've used 1,164 hours and 22 minutes of the battery being on. Right now my battery is at 57% state of charge. The temperature is at minus 2.5 Celsius because right now it's minus four outside, but the car has been on for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And the interior temperature, which is something that's not displayed anywhere in the car, is showing that it's now 22 degrees. The kilowatts that are shown in the middle is how much is being drawn. Right now it's showing you about two kilowatts being in red. That's because my heating is on. So basically the power is being drawn out of the battery to heat my car. This screen pertains to the main battery as well. Now it's showing you that the number of volts in the car is 353-ish volts. That the battery temperature is actually minus 2.5 Celsius. The power being drawn and then the temperature of the battery heater. And then we get back to the 12 volt auxiliary battery. So as I mentioned, this device doesn't show you 100% of the information that Torque Pro can show you on your cell phone. But honestly, a lot of the information that you can get out of Torque Pro is something that you'll display once or twice and not really go back to very often. So for the day-to-day -day use of your car, what's important is what's being displayed here. Your auxiliary battery, your main battery, temperature, state of charge, how much power it uses and puts back into the battery. And all of that in a really small package that's not very intrusive. Essentially, uh, take this little device and Velcro it to my dashboard. And I'm gonna get a shorter USB cable that I'm gonna drop into here. And essentially, I've got all of this information all the time. And all I have to do is press and hold the button to get to the screen that I want to. And then I'll know exactly what the status of my battery is and I don't have to worry about taking up my cell phone, sticking Torque Pro up and getting it all set up and all of that other stuff. So if you're not technical and you want all of this detailed information that's hidden inside of your electric car, then this is definitely the way to go. In my last video, the t-shirt quiz had this t-shirt 
and it took about five minutes to get a correct answer and I was a little surprised I didn't think anybody would get it that fast because it kind of looks like Star Wars and kind of looks like a couple other things but Brad450 uh, once again was the first person to answer and he got it correct the t-shirt was The Witcher it's actually a t-shirt for the new Netflix series of The Witcher and he got that pretty much right away so congratulations I did buy another t-shirt so it's time again for the t-shirt quiz now let me get the t-shirt on. So seeing that a couple of you have been really good at guessing what the t-shirts have been in the previous t-shirt quizzes, I thought that I would step it up a little bit in this one and chose a t-shirt that's got something that's a little more obscure. If you know what this t-shirt is about, I had no clue until my son told me about it, uh, then post it in a comment below and if you're the first person to guess it right, then I'll mention you in my next video. So this is it. With that being said, let me get back into my regular shirt. That's better. And now back to the regular portion of this video. One of the things that I find really interesting about this device, much like a couple of the other products that I've tested on my uh, channel in the past, like the charge port covers for the Soul and the Nero from Macapush and Echodome, or Alex Industries Echodome product, is that they came out of an idea for the person who invented the product. So Jean-Pierre Lavoie has a Kona and he wanted the information out of his car like state of health of the battery, state of charge of the auxiliary battery, voltage, temperature and all that other stuff but didn't want to have to mess with putting his cell phone in his car and synchronizing it and doing all that other stuff. And this was born. And this is fantastic because right now the price isn't set. Uh, I was talking with him and it may retail for about $80 Canadian but don't take my word on that it's up to him to finalize those details and it'll be on his website once that's done but in my opinion anything under a hundred bucks makes this thing really worthwhile just for the fact that you can get the actual state of health of your battery now when you go to a dealer and get your battery tested they give you a paper and some manufacturers have that test which are essentially useless. Nissan comes to mind, they give you a sheet with a few lines of text saying your battery is good and like five stars or whatever it means nothing. Knowing that the actual state of health is 100%, 95% or whatever makes this really cool. Now the auxiliary battery information is also very important. When I looked at mine and saw the percentage fluctuating it proved that the auxiliary battery tender in the car was working. So if you're not technical you don't want to have to fuss with computer files and transferring things to your cell phone and setting up an app and spending a whole bunch of time getting things ready to work and then putting your cell phone in your car then I really strongly suggest you having a look at this product is the EV OBD2 adapter from Jean-Pierre Lavoie and there will be a link to this product in the description below if you like this video please click the thumbs up and once again I'd also like to say a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed to me so far I am now at almost 1,800 subscribers as of the filming of this video, which is astounding considering that I started in mid-June of 2019 with zero subscribers and absolutely no way of knowing how to make a YouTube video. It's been a heck of a learning process, but I'm having a great time and the feedback and the comments that I get from you guys and girls is fantastic so thanks again if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please click on the subscribe button that I'll put here somewhere uh, well, it looks like that click on it below and uh, click on the notification bell so that you get advised of when my next video comes out as those of you who follow my channel may have noticed this video is a long time coming I'm about a month in without having posted a video I apologize but my business my family and life basically took priority over me making a YouTube video. So once again, thank you very much. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.